Here we are in December. We are bringing you the top four baits for the month of December. Now, what is going on in December? Maybe you are into hunting and you've already bagged out your big buck for the year. You're ready to get back on the water or you don't even fool with those crazy deer in the woods and you just stay on the water. Here's your top four. Number one, now I'm gonna just go ahead and say it, all winter long, I'm gonna have a jig on. I'm gonna give you a little different jig here in December. This is a micro football jig, a smaller jig, sm much smaller profile. I took a baby D-bomb, cut it down. These little small micro jigs, this is a quarter ounce. I'll use a 3 8 if I'm fishing a little bit deeper water, if I'm fishing shallower, like less than six or eight feet of water, probably go with the quarter ounce. But I've got a little bit bigger trailer with that baby D-bomb on the back. I'm gonna throw that on a spinning rod with eight pound test, uh, seven foot medium heavy type rod on a spinning rod. I'll be able to fish that on bluffy banks, anywhere I can find a little bit of rock. You can fish it around docks. You can fish it around some light brush, nothing too heavy. It does have a little weed guard, but it's not gonna come through the thickest cover, uh, except for it does come through rock very well. That bad boy right there puts fish in the boat year round, but really in December, it really, really starts to shine. For some reason, things just get a little bit tougher. That micro jig can absolutely work some magic in December. That's number one. Number two is a good friend of mine all fall. It's a Spro Rock Crawler. Any of those wiggle warp, warp, warp type baits. Now the, the rock crawler gets a lot deeper than a warp. So this is why I definitely choose this one in December. I'm gonna be fishing those gravelly banks, like 45 degree type banks, covering a lot of water. That water temperature as it's dropping down into the 50s, might still be in the 50s in that middle part of the country. This thing is gonna really, really shine until it gets down into the 40s. Once it gets into that upper 40s, you can still catch some on it. It gets down in the mid 40s. Uh, that's usually more of like January, so that's why a lot of people don't overlook that rock crawler really good, and that's one of my favorite colors, that green crawl. Number three for December is a small finesse swim bait. This is a Missile Baits Shockwave 3.5. I've got it on a round ball head, one eighth to one quarter, sometimes a three sixteenths, you know, in between. But the, those sizes are, I'm going to go with the eighth ounce when I want to fish it a little higher in the water column, three sixteenths when I want to go down anywhere from that four to eight foot range. If I want to go deeper than that, I'm going to put the quarter on. Again, kind of the same setup as the micro jig, eight pound test, spinning rod, medium type action rod, maybe medium heavy, you can get away with, uh, but I'm gonna throw it and then just slow roll it. You're not jerking it, you're not ripping it. You're gonna be fishing this anywhere you can find some bait fish action and you're having a tough time getting bit on other baits like maybe jerk baits or uh, crank baits, things like that. You find those bait fish present, a lot of times that little single swim bait throw that thing out there, let it sink below the bait, slow roll it, and hold on, tie a good knot, as they say. That is definitely one of my top December baits right there. And then number four is one, one that we don't talk about a lot. It's a lipless bait. Uh, and to be honest with you, for a handful of years, I banished lipless baits from my bass boat. I eliminated them. And then I realized there are times and instances where they do work and you need to put them in the boat. The Aruku Shad from Spro is gonna be my call in December because this thing, it, when it hits on the bottom, just like this right here, it stands up. It doesn't lay down flat, it stands up. The back of it actually floats. And so you can, you can, you can kind of yo-yo it off the bottom, rip, you know, rip it up, let it fall back down, rip it up, let it fall back down. That is really, really when this Aruku Shad shines. I'm gonna do it that way around hard bottoms. If I'm fishing it around grass, you can just steady reel it. This is absolute money. When you start going further south and finding a lot of grass, those lakes down in Georgia, Florida, you know, we're talking Southern Alabama and into, into Texas, you get around some of that grass, that Aruku Shad, um, play around with those, those hard spots in the, in the grass or near the grass, and that Aruku Shad will absolutely smash them. So those are my top four baits. If you have any other top four baits, drop them down in there. We are all trying to learn how to catch more and bigger bass in the month of December.